Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's a great one because today's video is all about fire training. I'm gonna share with you three different stages you should use when trying to develop your Wing Chun fighting ability. Stage number one will consist of shadow boxing. Stage number two, focus mitt, hitting pads, right? And stage number three, hitting the tire dummy. If you don't have a tire dummy, you can always use a punching bag. Now, there's a fourth stage, which is of course sparring, and that I will cover at a later date. Okay guys, let us not waste time, let's get started. Okay guys, stage one, shadow boxing, technique number one. So for today, I want you to work on the Park Da. But the Park Da, when hitting, we're gonna use the back fist. And anytime you use the back fist, you can follow up with a hook. So if I'm working on this type of technique, I want to make sure that I've got my balance, my stance, my hands up, and then when I'm shooting this technique, I want to make sure I get the right rhythm, right? You're not going extremely fast, or hard, it's just trying to find that looseness in your movement and the flow, okay? So whenever you do the technique, you want to make sure you're flowing and every movement becomes a sequence and it's not chopped up. So you don't want to go one and then two. So whenever you're working on it, make sure that it's nice and easy, covering and counter-attacking. Okay, technique number two with shadow boxing. So now we're working on intercepting with a kick and then following up with double punches. So when you're working on this one, what you want to do is just focus on counterbalance, right? So whenever you're kicking, you want to focus on the counterbalance using the hips and full extension of the kick. One thing I don't like to see is when Wing Chun people barely lift the leg, don't work on their flexibility, much less power. So even though I'm doing shadow boxing, I'm not kicking hard, but I am working on thrusting. So that way I can get the full extension of the leg. And then as I drop the leg, I'm following up with the punches. Perfect. Technique number three with shadow boxing. On this one, we're hitting, covering, and then counter-attacking. So again, I've got my stance, my hands up. Now, whether you feel comfortable using kind of like a neutral position hand guard, or you want to use a low guard or a high guard, it's all good. Try them all and see what works best for you. So then from here, I hit, I cover, hit, and then I can follow up with a kick. So I hit, cover, hit, and then kick. Hit, cover, hit, and then kick.
Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, share it with a friend. And guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. There's plenty of material there to keep you busy training and taking your Wing Chun to the next level. If you haven't already, check out my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. There's a free introductory applied Wing Chun course you can check out and learn from those videos as well. Having said that, I'll see you in the next one.